Hello and welcome to another episode of Stock Talk. No doubt you've all heard of AMC and GameStop and all the rest of the meme stocks, right? A couple episodes ago, we covered GameStop for you. Today, we'll be talking about AMC, but also taking a deep look at meme stocks in general. Stay tuned for the second half of the video to deeply understand meme stocks. Now, this topic has had a lot of hype, a lot of controversy, and a lot of excitement, so stay tuned for a fun episode ahead. But before we do, to stay on top of this and other hot topics in the stock market, be sure to click like and subscribe to our channel. So what's new with AMC? There are new meme stocks every day. It's like we can say AMC is now an old school meme stock. Now, we have to give credit where credit is due. It's actually thanks to meme stock traders that after the sudden run-up and extensive news coverage that earlier this year in January, AMC was able to secure $917 million in new funding, which sent the stock skyrocketing again, this time over 300% with the help of Reddit. Given this run-up and continued sustained price level, AMC board members dumped their shares to the tune of $4 million, totaling $12.62 million in just the past two weeks prior to June 9th. So, is this stock ultimately a buy or a sell? Earlier this month, it would have seemed like any fundamental investor would stay away. But not so fast. Jim Cramer over at CNBC sees opportunity. Already, AMC's higher stock price allowed it to issue new shares and raise capital earlier this month. They are at a pivotal moment to pay down debt, which has over doubled to $1.05 billion since 2018, and completely reinvent itself. Kramer even claims AMC will have the opportunity to acquire other chains like Cinemark and IMAX. And almost as if he was seeing the future, just this week AMC has announced plans to buy out Pacific Theaters in Los Angeles. But AMC is not stopping there. They're also eyeing Arclight Cinemas now that they're out of business, and AMC has also announced it will be expanding the distribution of its streaming service, AMC+. And to add insult to injury, almost as if going hand-in-hand -hand with all that good news, AMC rallied this Monday, squeezing short sellers out of $512 million. To date, almost 23% of AMC's shares outstanding are still being shorted. Who do you think will win this battle of willpower? It almost seems like short sellers might be fighting a losing battle, especially as AMC CEO Adam Aaron has already been asking shareholders to approve a plan to share 25 million new shares in 2022. He previously pushed for 500 million shares a few months ago and failed. Maybe this is his chance and AMC's chance at redemption. Do you agree? Let us know in the comments below. So, meme stocks. No doubt they've been all over the news lately, but what exactly is a meme stock? Honestly, any stock, value or growth, could be a meme stock. There are no real requirements, although they do share similarities. Much like a video that has gone viral online and on social media, meme stocks do as well. They go viral and they skyrocket. To the moon, as they say, simply due to their popularity on social media or forums like Reddit alone. But take note, the focus here isn't fundamental analysis, it is the exciting but risky opportunity for price appreciation. This will turn many people into winners, but many also into losers, so be careful when you play. These often approach bubble territory, become overvalued with a drastic price increase, and then crash, only to potentially be resurrected again in another artificially viral-fueled rally. The boom and bust cycle these stocks follow is nothing unusual, for a bubble, that is. Early adopters start hyping up a stock on a platform like Reddit, and by the time the late adopters, who are experiencing FOMO, which means fear of missing out, buy in, the price has been bid up so high that the early adopters are able to cash out of the run-up at their expense. So, you have to get in early to win big. Good luck with your timing. Now, what's different from other bubbles in the stock market is the aftershocks. Nothing actually has to change fundamentally about a meme stock company's financials or its prospects for its stock to rally wildly again. And just this week, AMC rallied again, much to the detriment of short sellers. More on this later on, so stay tuned. Redditors have made it clear that if they like a stock, even after the bubble bursts, if Wall Street tries to short sell a stock, they will come to its rescue and bid the price back up at their expense. All for the sake of making a point or even getting revenge for the 2008 recession. Also contributing to this is public figures, like Elon Musk, who has captured the hearts and minds of the younger generation. An incredibly accomplished and intelligent entrepreneur, even a half-baked tweet from him about a meme stock or even a regular stock can send it soaring. 
Never before have we seen this form of market collusion between regular, everyday, inexperienced traders. And fun fact, many traders even buy meme stocks on margin, which only adds to the risk and the excitement. So a word to the wise, these stocks are very volatile and they are subject to the whims of your fellow online players. Keep an eye out, be observant, and don't turn into a FOMO trader. What do you think of meme stocks? Have you been a FOMO trader before? Ever get lucky and been an early adopter? Let us know in the comments below. But the excitement, the controversy, whatever you want to call it, doesn't end there. Adding to the wild frenzy surrounding meme stocks is the fact that Robinhood and other online brokers have been known to suspend trading during meme stock surges. This was initially a surprise for many. Was it for you? The reality is that trading suspensions have already been happening on the NYSE, on the most volatile of trading days even prior to COVID. It just seems that it finally trickled down to small investors on their apps. What happened is that small traders got trigger happy, armed with either savings from not going out during quarantine and or stimulus checks, stimmies as they're called, they overloaded online broker trading systems. But let's still not forget the risk all meme stocks, including AMC, face on the regulatory landscape. The SEC has already gone on record for considering new regulations purposely aimed at curbing meme stock investing. The simplest of these is a disclaimer that apps like Robinhood send users a pop-up acknowledging traders should understand the risks in speculative trading. Essentially, what the SEC is considering is to force online brokers to apply the standard many independent financial advisors and investment firms already give their clients, and that is called the fiduciary standard. Applying Regulation BI, as it is called literally BI for best interest, it would require apps like Robinhood to put clients' best interest ahead of their own and cease doing things like releasing virtual confetti on clients' screen after every trade. The SEC literally thinks that the ease of trading, along with such gamification, should legally count as a form of financial advice and be regulated as such. What do you think? Could this be the end of free trades? Will they distort the market so much that we will have to pay $4.99, $6.99, or even $9.99 per trade again? Let us know in the comments below. Now, is meme stock trading right for you? Is it investing? Is it trading? Or just speculating? Benjamin Graham, British economist, professor, investor, and inspiration to Warren Buffett, published The Intelligent Investor in 1949. And trust me, the wisdom in the book is not outdated. Consider meme stock investing speculative at best. Based on his teachings, we'd suggest you devote no more than 1-2% to of your portfolio to the fun of speculation. Otherwise, investing should be boring. And if it feels boring, if you aren't buying and selling and churning over various positions every day, then that's a sign you're doing it right. And for those of you finance nerds and walks out there, modern portfolio theory, the buy and hold and diversify, applied by traditional financial advisors and investment firms, would agree and not support wild meme stock investing. What do you think? Do you agree? Are any of you day traders? Do you swear by your supposedly proven strategy? Do you like meme stocks? Let me know in the comments below. And with that, we leave you today, folks. There are many meme stocks out there. In previous episodes, we've covered GME and today, AMC. There is always more to be said, so we'll continue to keep an eye on these and continue the conversation with you. And don't forget, if you like today and other episodes, please be sure to like and subscribe. This is Stock Talk, signing off.